we're standing out here in Cessna Stadium, uh, where we had a great track season, and I, I'm standing in front of some pictures of some of our former great athletes, uh, in particular this one of Desiree Osborne, uh, who I consider to be the finest female athlete in the history of the athletic department here at Wichita State, certainly in the history of the track and field program. Uh, that's because of the number of All-American awards that she won and the number of conference championships and all of that. This year we just finished a great season of track and field and we had one young lady, Tanya Nero, who certainly made a significant run at claiming, in my opinion, the title of greatest shocker track and field athlete in the history of the program. The reason is because she was All-American in cross country. She had a higher finish than Desiree did there. She finished 16th at the NCAA Championships. I think Desiree was All-American with a 26th or something like that. She made second team All-American at the NCAA Indoor in the 5,000 meters. And then she made first team All-American with a seventh place finish in the 5,000 at the Outdoor Championship. She won a myriad of Missouri Valley Conference Championships. And, and she ran extremely fast, the fastest 10,000 meters in the history of the Missouri Valley Conference. And it was a remarkable season. There's another girl on our program who was fifth in the NCAA Championships in the 10,000 meters, Alephine Tuliamuk, who's only a sophomore. And she just joined us at the semester this year as a transfer student. And uh, it, it would certainly appear that if she continues to improve and if she continues to go the way it looks like she's going, she was first team All-American indoors in the 5,000 meters. She was first team All-American outdoors in the 10,000 meters with a fifth place finish. If she continues to go this way, then she will certainly be battling for recognition as the greatest female track and field athlete in Wichita State history. It, it, this was a great year. A few things that are remarkable about this year. The women in our program won the Triple Crown. Cross country, indoor track and field, and outdoor track and field in the Missouri Valley Conference. Uh, that's only been done twice before in Missouri Valley Conference history, and both of those times were by our team. Uh, we had a spectacular sprint year by, by uh, uh, Audacia Moore, and she broke finally broke her mother's school record in the 100 meters. It was a special thing. I know that that was a record that she was really, really wanting to get, and she finally got it. So now she's the school record and holder in virtually every sprint race uh, that is run. Um, the men had a good season. Not as good as we had hoped, but a very good season. The men were third at the indoor track and field championship and third at the outdoor track and field championship. But we lost the indoor championship by 13 points and we lost the outdoor championship by five points. Indiana State was 168 points, Southern Illinois was 167, and Wichita State was 163. It was a remarkably tight finish. It was high drama, terrific track and field. Our men battled hard. I was really proud of them. It was a good year, but they came up a little bit shorter than I know that all of them wanted to, and certainly we as a coaching staff were hoping for uh, a championship at the indoor meet and a championship at the outdoor meet. But still, we sent two men to the NCAA Outdoor Championship and a bunch of guys to the first round of the, the, the preliminary round of the NCAA Championship out at Eugene, Oregon. So it, it was truly a good year. And certainly next year's track and field and cross country season are, is something that we're all as a coaching staff looking very forward to. We've got some great uh, recruits coming and we'll look forward to revisiting all these issues next year. Have a great summer, everybody. and. Uh, be sure to get ready for a great 2011-2012 Wichita State track and cross country season.